ClickSense, embedded in your SaaS platform. OEM use case. What would the end result look like for a successful integration of ClickSense into your application architecture? Your goal is to create within a multi-tenant SaaS platform environment embedded analytics within your core applications, where each of your customers would see and use only their data. It's possible for each customer to have a more fine-grained authorization structure. As an example, it is possible to provide authorizations for a specific department or country within a dashboard. Let's consider the goals of embedding ClickSense in a multi-tenant SaaS environment. Ultimately, you want to provide a unique dashboard to each of your end customers. You might also want to enable your customers to extend their own dashboards with their own sheets and charts. But you don't want to maintain these separate dashboards. In the next few slides we will explain how you can use our APIs or click application automation to provision your platform. We will create a separate tenant and make a copy of the template app for each of your customers and load it with customer specific data. In this animation, we've made a few assumptions. We've assumed you already have a multi-tenant SaaS platform. And thus assume you have a piece of software which acts as a broker a software capability that you already use today to maintain your SaaS applications for all your customers. The principle of SaaS automation is quite simple. You first create a template app, also called a dashboard, and you make a copy for each of the customer instances on your SaaS platform. The template app already contains a template with 80% of the functionality and we provide some predefined sheets, charts, dimensions and measures to get you started. Note that if you don't have a broker today, you can use the low-code click application automation platform to do the provisioning for you. It contains templates to get you started. Let's do a deeper dive and understand each step. In the upcoming video, you will see the broker in action. But what are the activities that the SaaS broker automates in the demo? What are the steps or stages? First, it will create and configure a tenant for each customer. For example, it will create the JWT configuration to enable the single sign-on, set the license and upload your authorization groups. Secondly, it will copy the template app. Next, it replaces the script with a customer-specific one. Or in most cases, you just have to replace the database connection. Using the new script, the app is reloaded. This is where we basically make a compressed copy of the data and create the associative model. In the final stage, we publish the app in the managed space. Here, we see a visualization of a complete integration in a multi-tenant environment in action. On the left side, you will see the current SaaS platform, which needs its analytics update. We have implemented an integrated click sense, which you will see on the lower right. In the middle, you find the broker a piece of software you already have to which we add some API calls so that ClickSense will also be controlled by your software. Or alternatively, you can call a trigger URL inside Click Application Automation to do the setup for you. That simplifies the setup on your side. We've assumed you have a database per customer instance and you also have a master database in the left corner which contains the customers the database connections, user rights, and possibly customer-specific custom tables and fields. Your software is now in control, it selects the template apps that need to be copied to each customer tenant. In the demo platform, we simulate this by pressing the Generate button. This button will execute the activities by making use of the REST and WebSocket-based APIs. It then creates a customer-specific tenant, copies, reloads, and publishes the app into a managed space. Now, our end customer users, John and Linda, will get a personalized dashboard which shows only the data they are authorized and allowed to see. If you want you can also allow users like Linda to create their own sheets. In the self-service demo you can try this by selecting Linda. For more information visit integration.cleek.com.